All right, the map is End of the King, and these are the bonuses. Three, five, five, four, three, three, two, three, four, three, and two. And we're the green player, third in the turn order. And are there any blizzards? Yeah, one, two blizzards right here, stacked up here. Makes us into a one, two point hold for plus four is pretty nice. Or you can hold here and here and block the battlements and still have a two point hold in that, which is really good. And we have three troops there. But the black player also has three, and they go before me in the turn order, so most likely they stack three there and slap me out, unless they don't see it. I mean, they've also got a five here. I think I think they're strong. I think the black player gets that, and we go elsewhere. We're pretty strong for the crown jewel, which is a three-point hold for plus five. That's pretty nice. That four is not... It's trapped between a four and a five. That's nothing to us. This four is trapped between a five and a four. That's nothing to us. This three is trapped between a four and a five. Um, if the black player doesn't go for here, we could stack three here and go for that eventually. But the red player's like, yeah, oh yeah, they, yeah, they, they, they just get it. This hits here, boom, boom. That's theirs. We go for the crown jewel, that's fine. This, this is a two-point hole for plus four, but this is a three-point hole for plus five, so both are good. We both, if I get this and nobody can test me for it, I'm actually fine with how this turns out. Three troops for us, this four, this four, this three, this one, they're all most likely going to be destroyed in short order. I need to get this with good dice. No, don't lose any troops. Good dice, fantastic dice. And we need to protect ourselves appropriately, I think. Um, maybe stronger against uh, you, because you're going to get a bonus next turn. And we call it good, and hopefully nobody breaks us. Somebody easily could. They could do a 5v3, break me there. You could sack 3 there, 8v4, breaks me there. You, your next turn, will get 7, Put uh, becomes a 10, 10v6 breaks me. There's three different players that could break me. You need good dice. Yours is basically 99% if you stack three there and go for it. You 10v6 is, I think, I don't know the odds on that, but they're pretty good. It all comes down to us being buddy, buddy, good neighbor. Nobody go for me. The red player doesn't uh, decide to break us. That's good. Okay, that's good. Break them, break them, break them. No, they hit my three there. We This, this, this. They're gone to us. We have no way to save those troops. But we did get a round one bonus and need to hold it. You're gonna, and it's a good one too. It's a plus five. Um, yeah, I'll do. I'll do the. Yeah, I'll do. I'll do the, the the the, the alliance thing. Show them the love. And um, so the black player wants to be good neighbors with red, but hopefully also with me, maybe. And maybe you know we can get like a, a good neighbor situation going on here. I mean, I kind of need that right now. I kind of need a good neighbor situation. All right, so. So far, nobody's being bad neighbors to anybody. You're getting a plus four, but it's a four-point hold. Um, you've over here got a plus three on a one, two, three-point hold. Actually, here, here, and here is three-point hold. Um, they're going to break you through there. So, so far, everybody's just going for the bonus. Nobody's being bad neighbors. So the fact that we... Ooh, that's a good hit there. The f are you going to break it? Anybody going to be bad neighbors? So far, everybody is good neighbors. We've got a good neighbor's lobby so far. They have broken red. They did not. They just won their bonus, and red's four is in the way. Questions, does Red hold a grudge about that? They've got a one, two point hold on plus three. You've got a one, two, three point hold plus three. So I think Red's in the worst position as far as like defending. But if everybody is being good neighbor, then it doesn't really matter. You could literally stack everything in one spot and be fine if everybody's going good neighbor situation. I think th one of these two will want to try and grab these next, if I had to guess. Um, one of these two will want to try and grab this next. I don't think we can try and like stack here and go for that. Maybe. I could go for this. There's ah, there's four or five nine troops in the way here. There's only four in the way here, but... I mean, I could stack here and hit you, but then I'd be weak and you guys would probably clean it up. I could stack here, but you might take it as an act of aggression and want to break me. Um, I could, I could try to grab this plus three down here. I've got three point hold here. If I grab this, this, and this, it becomes a one, two, three, four, five point hold. It's a bit ambitious. I could stack here, move down, and just block anybody else from having this as a thing. The black player is stacking there because that's stronger for them. I need a card from somewhere. I mean, four, five, five, four. Don't break it anyways. Uh, five. I mean, this is my easiest hit right here. So we need guaranteed six to do that. You're strong over... Let's do... A couple over here. Let's do a couple over there. And then one more over here. And again, let's be good neighbor. Hit this for a card. Please don't lose any. We lost none. That's good. And the white player will most likely want to go through here to get their selves fortified up. So for right now, just to be good neighbors, the white player, I'm moving back out of the way. Because there's a world where they want this into there so badly. 
get their stuff grouped up, that they actually uh, get their plus six next turn, stack on this, and then 12 v6, break me, hit this, and fortify down to protect this better. I don't want that to happen. I want to give them a clean path through here, and then we can keep that sitting down there, I think, would be the play. Understand not only what you want and what your goals are, but also what they want and their goals are. Speaking of goals, I don't know if I've done a promo yet in this video or not. I'm not sure if I have something to promo or not when I'm, as I'm recording this. Um, hmm, I don't like that red fortifying stronger over here. That, uh, why are you doing that? Do you want to go for the battlements? Are you trying to go for this west keep and you want to keep me out of it? I don't understand. Are you just trying to get out of other people's way? I don't know why you're stacking so strongly against my uh, crown jewel here. I don't like that. Are you trying to trap their five in? That's a strange play. Maybe you're trying to group all your troops up into one strong pile. And that's where the strong pile happened to be at. Could be. I think we're about to lose our four over there. Maybe Magenta wants to go for this. All right, we lose our four there. Like I said, that four, that four, basically done for, I guess. I guess if Magenta's stacking over here, I could stack eight over here and have a 12 stack here. And what are they going to do about it? They got a five here. They get their next turn gets seven. I guess a 12 would match my 12. I don't know. I could try for this bonus. It looks like Magenta wants this one. I mean, there's a world where I could, if, if everybody's being good neighbor and going for bonuses, I could eventually go for this one. If you've got one bonus going for a second, you've got one bonus going for a second. You've got one bonus going for a second. But where are we card trade? Like, there has to be a region. If everybody's going for a bonus, there has to be a card trading region. And it's looking like it's going to be right here. It's looking like this is the card trading region, frankly. Or in the battlements, which you're blocking me. The battlements would be good about card trade. I still want everybody to be buddy buddy getting more bonuses and I'm not getting it. But uh, speaking of uh, variety, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to move the channel to variety. I'm thinking I need to be more strategic about it instead of just like throwing random darts to the board. Let's try this random mini game, this random mini game. Maybe we try like more popular st uh, strategy games. I'm thinking I, I bought Age of Empires 4. I'm hoping uh, maybe that's fun to play. Maybe you guys find fun watching it. If not, then whatever. Yes, whatever. I, I bought a game and they'll be able to watch. Who cares? Move on to the next one, right? But maybe I'll try some Age of Empires 4 on the channel. Maybe I have already by the time this, this game comes up. I don't know. Maybe it's fun. Maybe people like it. So you, you're going for that. So you're going. You're doing the thing I'm considering is going down here. All right. So I need a card somewhere. Um. Hmm. Everybody's being good neighbors. You're blocking. You've blocked me effectively from card trading there. You're blocking me from card trading there. You're blocking me from card trading there. There. So I need a card somewhere. The least weakest thing for me to attack is uh. We got a seven, a five, a ten. And four, the weakest thing for me to go for is a four. So we are going to uh, get a card over here, hit this, and we hit this, like so. Ta-da, I lost three to their four. I'm actually going to, f where do I fortify? Um, they're doing th I, did, I did get a card somewhere. And what if we were to, who do I want to leave this stack against? Who is most likely going to break me here? I don't want to split it. I want to have it... Um, where, like, do I, who do I think is most likely to want to hit me here? You've got more troops there. Maybe the, the political move is actually to split it like this. Maybe that's the political move. I'm just trying to avoid getting attacked. But if I leave an eight there, maybe they don't like that. And they stack their, uh, you know, they car trade or they, they stack their six there and 14 V8 take me out. Or I'm, I'm trying to avoid the scenario where I, I get Bro broken or my troops hit here and maybe that's the play every here seems to want to be good neighbors so maybe we just do what the black player did and split it like that and that's like unoffensive and this hopefully neither magenta nor the white player hit me um that's the hope i don't know that white player intentionally tried to block me there i think they might have just been moving this way one at a turn for card trade magenta did not try to go here to break me maybe that's maybe they're chilling maybe Everybody's going for two bonuses. The black player has one, two bonuses. I've got one, two. Magenta has one, two. Red will have one, two. The white player would need to get one and then two. And then we card trade in the battlements, I think. In the battlements would be where people card trade. Or in the within the bonus of whoever doesn't get to hold their bonus, frankly. Um... Where I would I need I need red to get this eight stack out of my way to card trade in the cat. You're not gonna move that ten because that's protecting your bonus. Red stacking this eight here is a strange play in their part. I need them to get that eight out of my face. Um, I'm worried you're f splitting to leave something. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that. Get that eight. At this point, you are trying to block me in. If I get card blocked for one turn, is not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. I need somebody move out of my way to give me a card. 
And so I need to happen. I need to have happen. But skipping a card trade, a card block for one turn is not the end of the world. If I get card blocked for one turn, what I do is I just stack heavily against the person, against the people that are actively, possibly intentionally card blocking me. I don't know if you're intentionally trying to card block me. You might be just trying to protect your territory is all, all there is. You want to get a card here. You're going to hit their three. They're uh, doing the crying thing because they're, they're, they're sad about having to hit them for a card. They, they, they want to get a card. And they're hoping to not anger the white player. And myself with my plus 10... Keep in mind, the white player could have chosen to broke me, but they didn't. I don't think the white player is trying to be antagonistic towards me. They could have broke my the, this down here. They didn't. So we don't mess with them. What we do is we just, I guess, block our defenses up a little bit and hope that something gets out of our way for a, a, a card at some point. Um, put one over here. You seem chill. Put a couple over here. I just, just one or one. Just a little unoffensive things here. We are just kind of chilling over here. I don't want to escalate with you. I do want to, um, let's do a little bit over here, match you, do one of these over here. I don't, th uh, let's look at this icon. They've probably played the game a lot. Let's point at this, like so, so they see it. And I'm going to say, thanks. I'm communicating to the red player to please move out of my way. They, based on their uh, avatar and stuff like that, they either put some money in the game or they played a bunch. So they might understand this. I'm communicating them to move out of my way. Do they understand? They're, they're not communicating one way or another. Do they understand? I don't know if they do or not. But we will card skip this turn. And hopefully the red player is experienced enough to understand I'm asking them to move out of my way. They stack some for there for defense. And they, 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 I think they understand. Show them love. Show them the love. Thank you. Okay, they understood. The right players understood that I'm trying to communicate to them that I want to move. Now, we were forced to... No! Ooh! Hmm, that is a... That is a... Angry face. That is an intentional... The red player has an intentional... They intentionally blocked me there. Okay. Red player, you're in trouble, buddy. You... Not as experienced as I thought you might be, good sir. If you were experienced in the game, you'd understand what I was trying to communicate to you. I was trying to communicate to you. I want a card trade there, but you have intentionally moved back to continue card blocking me. What do you think is going to happen next turn? I'm going to stack my 10 troops on that on, on that 12. I'm going to slap your 7, and I'm going to break your extra bonus. You have made an enemy, sir. And if you want to get revenge against me, I'm, I might just push you out of that region entirely. And then if you want a card trade, you have to... You, like I, That's actually my next turn. My next turn, 22 here, hit this, hit this, hit this, hit this, hit this, and then four or five back to here, and card trade with magenta on the battlements or whatever. Um, and actually, or maybe I, st maybe I stay, I mean, magenta, maybe I stack it right here. I don't like being next to year 14, but there's a world where you do the same thing red is, which is trying to block me in here with their big stack. Um, but, but by pushing the red player into this corner here, the only way for them to get revenge on me is to hit here and go through the black player uh, into me. Or to um, go through here. Uh, I guess here or here. No, that would be like really here, here, here to hit me. This seven. No, no, they have to like this ten, the seven to hit me would have to go here, here, here. I mean, I guess there's down here. No, basically they have to push through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the red player screwed up big time. Big, massive, huge mistake. Car blocked me once. Fair enough. Car block me again. Uh, no, sorry, buddy. You messed up. I tried to communicate to you. Uh, I gave you more credit than is deserved. I Means multiple people are kind of effectively car blocking me here. But I can also make it so you can't retaliate. I push you out of this region of the board. I tried to be friendly with you. You showed me you're unfriendly. And I'm going to fortify this out of the way over to here in a way that, unless Magenta wants to self destruct on me, will make it hard for them to. Um, this this car block situation gets a lot harder when I've got uh, two tiles to access here. And now we chill out and just hopefully nobody does much. Did you bot out? You're still here. Okay. But yeah. Do you see? Are you starting to understand? I mean, I guess I guess you still have a trade. You can still card trade with the black player right here. They might not be the self-destruct type. They might be the um, stick around. But now we have to worry about there is a world where the red player there there. Yeah. Okay. Yep. The, they're, yeah, the black player's happy. They're doing a card trade here. The red player failed to play the social game with me, 
and has paid the price. They're, they are now down to 32 troops. I'm over here, 47, 47, 34. I'm still uh, basically in second or third place. I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm fine with Magenta Car Train down there. No hard feelings. You know, show them. Well, I should show them the love on their turn, but whatsoever. I don't mind a little car trade over there. So red and black are going to car trade over here. Myself and Magenta will car trade in this territory over here. Um, white can car trade with black over here as well. There's also a world where white, if they don't have a car trade situation. There's a world where the white player, if they don't have a car trade situation. No, white can also car trade over here. Yeah. So us three car trade in this region. Black and red car trade down here. And I just need to watch out for red holding a massive grudge against me. But to be fair, if I didn't do that to red, I, I had to slam somebody's stack. Um, I either break Magenta's bonus over here, or I break White's bonus over here, or I break what the White player's trying to do over here, or I hit red stack. So I, the one spot I go is one spot they have a stack, and the red player just needs to understand that, like, I mean, I I think that they hit here, move back. I think they understand the concept of car block, and they just took a risk over here and didn't pay off for them, really. So, but that does make them weak, so people looking for eliminations will want to go for that. It is progressive. We need to keep that in mind. We need to keep in mind, in fact, it's progressive. All right. I like how I made a bunch of videos on the channel talking about, I'm talking about other things other than the game. Mix up it up, and here I am just talking about nothing in the game. They're going full front good neighbor, going full good neighbor thread. No, they're lining up for a kill stack. They're lining up for a kill stack. Okay. How are the card trades? Not that big yet. They're not that big yet. This 15 stack, unfortunately, is in a situation where it's not really lined up for kills. Um... I don't, do I worry about the black player uh, breaking me? Do I line up for kill stack? Uh, what do I... Maybe we... I need to get a card... So I need to get a card somewhere, so first of all, these three go here. Uh, this... Maybe I leave a stack here and then force Magenta to hit here so I can actually have like a path out. Because they're intentionally hitting here so I don't have a path out. I need people to free this 15 stack and they don't want to do it. So, I'm actually going to do one of these. I'm going to hit over into here. I need a kill stack path out, and, he's, and we are going to, uh... We're going to call that good. I need, a, I, need, I need somebody to hit this or this. Probably won't happen this turn. They'll probably hit this one. I need a world where these guys eventually break this bonus. Uh, this 10 will probably make... Ooh, the card trade there, okay. Um, I need something to break uh, this. It probably won't happen this turn. I think Magenta breaks this. The white player needs a card. They might just hit down here for a card. The red player is gone bad neighbor. Or the black player wants to give them that bonus, but I don't... The black player seems very... Like, the way they're emoting, they seem experienced. I don't think they're going to retaliate much against that. I think maybe the red player is somewhat experienced. Ah, uh, yeah. And, yeah. And they, um... The red player, um... Wants to weaken the black player because the black player was posturing for a kill stack, so... Reduce the black player's income. I guess plus two's not that much in progressive, but... That's fine for now. I guess how many trips are you getting per turn? You're getting seven a turn. You're getting six. I'm getting five, seven. And you're, you'll be getting uh, three, five. So, like, I'm doing fine. I've actually got... Ooh, that's a big, scary 42 stack. You're going to try to limit me this turn, aren't you? You're going to try to limit me this turn, aren't you? Or that's what you want to be your kill stack. Well, now you, now you can't. Let's see, you want a 13. All right, so... I might need to move my 15 stack somewhere. Because... Magenta's kill stack is going through me. And I need that to not be the case. So what, maybe I could have a kill stack position here. And then we do, do a trust exercise with Magenta over here. They seem experienced. They're being a good neighbor. I have a five that could broken their seven at any time. Like, we could have broken each other any time we did not want it down here with not too much cost. There we go. They free that. Okay. We easily get our card by this... Um, I mean, this 10, I mean, having this 10, like, mobile could be good. I mean, that's, I mean, I could stack, I could hit here, fortify down to here, and this kill stack here is just as good. That can go down this way, or that way, for the moment. And then we, I can cartridge here, or I can cartridge here, or white player hits here, and we can hit to there. And then just have a one stack here. Just do it, or just like, I could set, like, a couple troops there, but to be fair, like, Magenta wants to break that. They've got a 42 stack. They want to break that, it's broken. They want to break it, it's broken. Like, this 8 and this 8 are doing fine. Like, there's a rule I could actually de-escalate this 8 over here into uh, working on a big kill stack somewhere. I feel like we got a lot of fairly experienced players this match. I think win or lose, I'm, I don't care what place I get, I'm, I'll make a video out of this. We got some uh, skilled gameplay going on here. Speaking of skilled gameplay, 
check out my, my other games. <laughs> yeah, I need to start getting, um, I, I think promoing in these videos, I might keep doing it, but I don't think it's working particularly well, at least in the short term. I need to start branching out into other mega popular games. Ooh, the trust exercise. I like this. I like the trust exercise. I think we take, we de-escalate, we stack these. Um, I need a card trade here. Card trade of 12, okay. And 22 troops. I need to get my kill stacks going, but if you're de-escalating with me, I'll de-escalate with you, frankly. I'm going to stack these all right here. And get out of your way like so. And then we are going to de-escalate with you as well. Now I've got a 43 stack there. Uh, I could have had a 45, I moved that over there, but this is a great opportunity to do a trust exercise with you. There's a world with a red player. I mean, they have to go through a 32 stack, I think we're fine. I'm just worried about you wanting to revenge slam me at some point. I mean, I've got... I've got 76 troops. I'm, I'm ahead of... I'm, I'm actually doing better than the black player right now. I'll card trade after them. The white player... Uh, once they card trade, will be kind of close. Doing way better than you. Um, Magenta's in the lead. Magenta's in the lead. Not by a lot, though. Do they break me? No, they're chill. Okay. When you screwed up, they're not as good as I thought. I'm never breaking that one. I'm never breaking that one. And in fact, I hit over here and hopefully block the white player from <laughs> freeing that. If the white player is good, they don't free the other. That 51 trap being stacked is good for everybody. The only way that person, anybody breaks that is they're hoping that they'll go for me or something. That was a huge mistake on their part, fortify forward. To be fair, they can literally fortify a forward next turn. So it's, I, I'm overreacting. It's not that big of a deal, actually. They can just, they can fortify a forward next turn. Wait, I just, did Red break you last turn? What was your troop income here? You, six troops total? I think Red did break you, and you're doing some work on Red here. Oh. Just make it easier for, just feeding the, the kill to um the black player. Yeah, they just, uh, I mean, the black player, I think, had the kill regardless. Um, because there's not that many troops there. Uh, they just made it easier. And any, in a way, that's good. I mean, somebody else getting the kill, other me is not great, because it kind of gets them stronger, because the card trades and progressive are meaningful. But, that means I don't have to worry about the red player revenge slamming me, which is good in and of itself, frankly. And the white player only has two cards. We don't want to, we should be thinking of eliminations at this point. Uh, troop counts can be high. They're thinking about if they want to go for the kill or not. They really should. I think maybe they don't have a card train three. They're doing the math if they can uh, do it. Ooh, they're thinking about breaking me. Show them the love. Please don't stack there. I de-escalated away from you and didn't broke didn't break you. Oh, they're they're crying because they're gonna break me. Oh, okay. That's an interesting play. I chose not to break you last turn, and you retaliated by breaking me. Hmm. Interesting. I think they want me to break them. I think they want me to break them to free this 34 to go towards me. I'm not going to fall for it. I'm not going to fall for it. Can I card trade here for 20 and have a 68 uh, stack? What can I do with a 68 stack? Can I take out you for four cards? Uh, five cards would be for a, a 68 stack. I could take out the white play for two cards. It's not worth. Um, I, I could go to check out the red player. No, I think maybe we just live without the plus five for a turn, frankly. I mean, I could just, frankly, just grab it back and whatever. I don't think going for kill this turn is the play. Fortify this over to here. Work towards a bigger kill stack. Give other people a chance to card trade in before me, hopefully. I do have the most troops on the board. For the moment. I've got the biggest kill stack. Uh, you just card traded there, didn't you? Okay, so... Take the red. Ooh. I think... Oh! The red player is more mad at the black player than me. They have self-destructed on them. Or maybe they're trying to get a higher placement and, um, taking out... Doing this to, like, make the, the black player a juicier target, like, is a strategy. Ooh, I can actually go here, then here, and here. They're probably gonna feed the... Oh, they're just going full Scorched Earth. Are you a bot? No, you just go... You just, they're just mad at everybody, and because I pushed them away from me on the board, they, they've, they've, they've given up. Oh, they've just given up, and they and they were just mad at these players. I guess the white player did take this bonus away from them, and the black player did, like, was posturing to eliminate them. And so, because other people... Yeah, and you're going for the kill on the white player for two cards. Does not give you immediate card trade. No, no, you're going for, you're going in for the kill on red, and just white's in the way. 
That's fine, because you'll have angered the white player in the process. Yeah, you're going for the kill on red for two cards. I mean, if they take out red and white in the same turn, that does give them four extra cards. Gives another card trade right afterwards. Pretty good. I th yeah, yeah, they're going for the kill on red, and then they need to go for the kill. And, um, here's the thing. You don't have enough... I might be able to get the white player and the black player in the next turn, and then do a 1v1 with magenta. Could be good here. I got a 52 stack that could go through the white player. And... Um, you've got four cards. I need... I could hit the black player first like this. Um, the black player car probably card trades on four. Um, you'll end with three cards. I could card trade and then take you out for three cards. Is that worth it? I got 42 troops. Um, it's a road where I can take out Magenta. They're, they've got too many bonuses. Hopefully the white, uh, the white player probably is going to break them a bunch, right? I don't need to worry about breaking them. Um... Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna damage them. They're gonna break all their bonuses. They've got a fifty-one. Uh, keep in mind, they've got a fifty-one stack trapped, so that's good. And I'm also kind of trapped in their thirty-two stack, so that's why they weren't really positioned for eliminations. Oh, I mean, I I, I realistically want to take. Uh, I need you to not card trade in four would be good. Um. Hmm. I guess I need to keep that five to defend there. If you got that there, right? I need to fortify that anyways. Three troops, two. Please no card trade in four. Uh, you, oh no, you're, you got a card trade in four, don't you? All right, then you'll end your turn with yeah. There's your card trade. Now you're not worth going for. Oh, you'll have two cards. I could take out the white player, and um, I'd end my turn with five cards, which makes me juicy for elimination. But the black player is not really positioned for elimination, are they? And do I want the white player to stay on the board? Or do I want to progress? I think I want to progress the game. I, th I think at this point, we have to like try and go for the elimination. Unless, unless the black player is going to beat me to it, frankly. Um, I, th I think we just need to go for um, the elimination to progress the game. It's a bit risky. It could end up costing me the game. The fact that Magenta's trapping a 50 stack of theirs tells me they might not be that great. Do I need to card trade right away for this? I mean, I'm going to have to card trade either way, right? So, we go for this elimination. And... We stack everything on a giant kill stack here. We hit this, 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 um, no. Uh, well, it's just, some of it is obvious. We just need to go in a direction here. A bit of this, a bit of this. Um, frankly, this five could do here to make my pathing a little bit easier, right? And, uh, this six can hit this here. And then this here, for my weird pathing situations going on here. And then even over into here. Get some value out of these troops. Keep these things stronger. We hit this. And we hit this over here. That's, that's not bad dice. We hit this over here. We hit this over here. And then we take you out like so. I've got 107 troops on the board. I have the most troops, but Magenta probably has a card trade of four. But 50 of your troops are stacked where they can't do anything. Um, what do I do here? Do I... A 73 stack does not... I mean, a 73 stack does take you out and gives me another immediate card trade. I gotta be quick about this, though. Get another card trade right away is actually huge. That's good. Let me hit this over here. A little bit of this. The reason I did that because there are two cards gives me immediate card trade. And a lot of your troops are trapped. So you're not a huge threat right away, even if you do have a card trade. Do one of these. And what I want to do here is... Um... I, I, I want to hit your... I want to, I want the attacker's a bonus on this stack over here. Reduce the damage you can do to me. That 51 stack can't do anything. You can card trade and do a lot of damage. I can't take you out this turn. Let's hit this. Do one of these. We hit into here. Break this. We hit this. We hit this. And then we fortify this over to... Here. And now, you have four cards, probably a card trade on four, like an 80% chance so to have it, you have it, but, unfortunately for you, um, uh, 50 of your troops are, are trapped. You're gonna hit my 20 there, that's fine, you lost 18 terrible dice for you. I have a card trade on four, which is very, very good. If I didn't, I'd probably be in a lot of trouble, because you probably fortify that off next turn, but... The fact that you had your 50 troops stacked there is very, very good for me. You're hoping I don't have a card train four. Unluckily for you, I do. All I have to do is 
just kind of trace that back and deal with that. That's going to be a good game. Well played. I'll let you know I got a card trading for. And then we can kind of clean this up. In spite of getting people trying to card block me. All right, they're doing their best to try and win. Sweat until the very end. How much do I get next turn? Probably don't have any bonuses, but I've got 50 troops coming in from the from that alone. That 50, uh, like a 53 troop income or like 55, 56 won't be enough to take out that. We might have to leave that trapped for another turn. Well, you'll probably free it another, in another turn. I'm getting quite a lot of damage down there, frankly. Now you fortify that 51 off that stack, which you've done a long time ago. Maybe I do need to hit that right away. Ah, just trip. I mean, attackers, honestly, getting the attacker's bonus and that would be good, but also need to like, I need to not have you get a lot of bonus. Actually, you don't have a lot of bonuses. You fortify it over to there. We card trade for uh, that is fine. 54 v 51, I, that's not even guaranteed. Um, I could do it here, 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 hit this. And then you have nothing to hit me next turn. You'll get a card trade again before I do. I think, oh man, do I go for your territories? No, because you'll just undo it next turn, right? With your 50 stack. What I need to do is, actually your 50 stack might have been limited on this movement. Getting rid of this, I think, is good with the attacker's bonus will help me, yeah. We got pretty good dice there. I'm very happy with that. And now we just need to trace you back here a little bit. Not sure if this is the right direction to go or not, but we'll make it work. It's doing pretty well for us. And that'll limit what you can do to us. We hit this over here, give you less spots, potentially break me from. Keep working this way. And just like that, we're, we, we're in a good position. This can hit over to here. And I guess over to here. And then this can hit over into here. More potential bonuses for us. Try it worth a shot. Good. And then I'm out of attacks. So let's move this over, let's say, to here. And you're down to six troops, two cards. No card trade for you this time. All because of that one turn where they fortified that 51 stack back and left it there. If they had just left it sitting there and never fortified it back in that one turn, they wouldn't have lost like this. That one tactical error. And I respect you sticking around to the end, or do I? I feel like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the whole never give up, never surrender mentality. It's kind of like, I, uh, I respect trying to win, but it's also like, come on, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, one, no one's silver, but whatever. Just get used to it. Everybody does it. Well, there, wait for it, wait for it. And there it is. You'll love to see it. But I have plenty more videos you can watch too. See you next time, unless you want to see the ranks. There's got to be some high ones in here, right? Intermediate, expert, beginner, beginner. I, I'm, there's a lot of beginners that are like really should be intermediate or whatever because they don't, like novices don't play like that. But that's all I got. See you next time.